a close-up image of a fig's pale yellow flesh. Two black and yellow striped fig wasps rest in the center. The flesh surrounding them has turned black and brown. On-screen text reads, Fig wasps lay their eggs in figs and become trapped inside. A human hand tears a fig in two halves, revealing the juicy red inner flesh. On-screen text reads, So, are we eating wasps in our figs? A man in a blue and white patterned shirt speaks to the camera. On-screen text reads, Gavin Broad, museum scientist. Figs have an unusual arrangement. Instead of being open, their flowers and pollen are trapped inside a fleshy stem. An animation shows a fig wasp fly towards a purple fig. The wasp crawls through a narrow opening towards the center of the fig, losing its wings along the way. In order to reach the flowers inside the fig, a female fig wasp must crawl through a narrow opening called the osteol. And this passageway is so cramped, her wings and antennae often break off during the journey, and she becomes trapped inside the fig. If she's entered a male fig, she's able to lay her eggs inside. If she's entered a female fig, she pollinates it, but is unable to lay her eggs and dies alone inside the fig. Thankfully for us, the female fig can digest these wasps with a special uh, protein digestive enzyme. A pair of human hands tears a green fig in half while still attached to its leafy tree, revealing the red and pink inner flesh of the fruit. These female figs then swell and ripen into the delicious figs we know and love, with that signature crunch coming from the seeds of the fig, but not from the crunch of dead moss. The colourful blue and grey Natural History Museum logo, consisting of the letters NHM, repeated in a concentric circular formation, pops onto a purple background. A woman in a black and white striped blouse speaks to the camera. That's a relief, so there's no dead wasps in our figs. If you found that video interesting, I've been chatting more to Gavin about this topic, and you can watch that video right here. She points to the top right. And if you're interested, like and subscribe to our channel for lots more content. On the left-hand side, a narrow navy blue rectangle displays the credits. Film, Lily Moore, Karma Hawks, Science, Gavin Broad, Research, Anna Robson, Archive, Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Music, Audio Network. Text at the bottom reads, Copyright owned by the trustees of the Natural History Museum, London.